when we throw, how quickly can we get back on the ground, right? We don't want to spend a lot of time doing What's up? We're diving into our pillar one, two, putting together full throws. One of the things we're going to do is kind of work into our South African. We're going to kind of get a little of that halfway point. And one of the things we like to do is keep the foot here so that we teach the athlete how to feel kind of the foot come here. It starts at six, they wind, it kind of turns and it turns over to here so that the hips follow this way. Simple thing, that's it. Some people like to do it this way. We do a combo now where you can start here, wind and turn the foot so you learn how to create that rotate in that linear path. So at either way, one of the key things when we're doing a South African, so we like to start here with our feet out so that the sweep legs already coming in this path. And so what we do is we wind and we still get that foot to about 530. That allows this position and we can come around. The South African is one of those useful drills in the sense that it teaches you how to kind of wind and then teaches you how to, you know, create that linear with the sprint leg and that rotational with the sweep leg and then again work on landing on top of the axis that's the key so you'll see some people who really kind of over rotate it and then come around and wind up in a pretty good position we'll get our discus and we'll again we'll think about our chain reaction we're going to put we'll start out with this position here again notice where the hips are the hips are facing about eight o'clock and so i'm going to wind this way and then i'm going to see that discus down here more at the low point because i'm going to rotate the foot here kick that sweep leg up to the high point and you're going to see how i'm going to come around and rotate now you notice when I do these drills and I'm walking through it I'm not eating up a ton of circle because that's not the point the, the motion and the speed is what's gonna help you take up more ring and when we throw how quickly can we get back on the ground right we don't want to spend a lot of time doing you know, this kind of thing because the time in the air is less efficient it's slower and we want to be able to get our feet back in contact with the ground as fast as possible and that's how you're going to be getting across the circle with more power and speed so here's your two options you can start here you so you get your sweep leg out we're in this position or we're going to be in this position and you're going to feel and that teaches you how to feel that knee load position. So I like both. It's all about what works best, right? What helps you develop best. There's an old expression, cause I'm an old guy. If it feels wrong, it's right. And I say, if it feels wrong, it's wrong. If it feels weird, it's probably right, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of different body kinesthetic feelings, how things feel, right, with new positions. You want it to feel weird, you want it to feel, kind of feel like there's some power. When it feels like there's no power and it feels bad, it's typically bad. In your South African, you wanna watch that you're trying to keep that here so you're gonna feel that getting on top of the axis and then you want to look at style A or B which one worked better for you so stop the video now look at your video and see if you were doing any of those things and if you were focus on a concentrated head position and pay attention to your chain reaction because that's what tends to pull you out of position okay guys thanks for watching and next video coming up is going to be wind up ones and then we put the whole throw together for your full actual rhythmical full throw